hopefully you are having a great Saturday. Today, oh my god, the lighting is really bad because it's, it's kind of dark outside. So, it makes the lighting in here not too good, as you probably already know. Um... The contest is over, and basically, you guys were supposed to um, put in the description box about um, what have you done for someone else. And I promised you I would come back and talk about each one. Now, I'm going to be looking over at the computer here. I just want you to see the screen. There's the screen. Okay, so I'm looking directly at you guys' um, comments here. Okay. But first, I want to talk about um, someone else. Someone else means the next person that it could be your neighbor it could be um, a person at work but and they need some maybe they need food or something you, you've heard them you heard the story you said they actually said I need food but I don't know where I'm gonna get it um, because I, I I'm getting ready to lose my job right now or I'm getting laid off or sometimes people just run into bad situations. It's a such thing as that in this day and time. Um, but my whole perspective is God said to um, be there for other people but what I don't understand is in some cases people just don't be there for someone else and that's kind of disturbing because why wouldn't you want to be there for someone else because of maybe the way they act or whatever and then in some cases you can only go so long with somebody to help them and it becomes laziness you know pretty much laziness so you have to kind of determine whether to keep, you know, assisting that person. Because that, you can't assist people. You can only assist people so long. And then after that, you have to allow them to figure out how to do things in some cases. But I'm talking about in this situation. I mean, I'm talking, <laughs> what I'm talking about as far as helping someone else is not laziness. I'm not talking about, uh, well, I'm trying to find a job, but you never finding a job. And, you know, it's helping you to the point where you one day find a job and then it pays enough. And then now I'm helping you. Well, I helped you all the way up to that time. And now, um, you know you're better you're getting better and then you fall somebody you know you fall from what you have done at the job or whatever or let's say you get sick you know a person gets sick you know really really sick that's when you know you have as a christian as a as a good samaritan as a good person I think it's okay to go ahead and help someone else. But if it's to the point where, you know, every single day, every single week, every year, and it goes up to like 20-something years of helping you, um, now I, I think that it is abuse not abuse but <laughs> you're just lazy you, you something's not right so I know people like to help someone else 
and I, I'm going pretty long here, but I just want to get this over to some people because some people think that helping someone else is bad, and it is, especially if it goes over too long to the point where, you know, you just, like, every time you get paid is the same thing. And um, I had a situation like that, and I created a... Um, a donation box pretty much and it worked for a while but I I, I, um, I figured out that hey they're not even doing anything with the donation box you know I used to put a box and then I put my put so much in there for and I said okay you can go there whenever you run into it whatever you run into but then it became um, okay, well, she's going to put it over there, so I, I'll just keep on falling. So when it's like that, then it's not, I, I think there are people who are right about, you know, you don't help someone, you can't help someone else. But what I'm talking about in this situation is the person, you know, they told you, hey, I think I'm going to lose my job next week. Then this is where you have to say, okay, you might want to investigate that. Okay, or let me see, did you really lose your job? Uh, can I call your job and find out if you got laid off? Um, you might want to, you know, investigate these things because some people will say that and, you know, use that to um, get you to keep on supplying. But um, it's a good thing if... You know, they're on the side of the road. You can actually see them. You know, you can see them on the side of the road. And you know them, or it's your neighbor, or it's your cousin, your sister, or it's someone that's at church that you go to, and they you see them actually, their car just actually just went down right in front of you. That's your cue to help someone else. But... You have to be careful, though, because, yeah, you helped them that time, but uh, consistently helping you, like, every week, okay, we'll do that for a while, but, you know, you, you kind of have to, um, I think, I've come to the conclusion that you kind of have to say, okay, I'm going to give, like, six months to a year, you know, or I'm gonna give you like two or three weeks to get this together, and then I'm 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 out. <laughs> you kind of have to say you're out at some point. And then, um, in other words, you don't want to enable the person. You just want to help them, but you don't want to enable them. Okay, now let's get back to the contest. But I just wanted to clear that up because I don't want people to think, hey, you need to help everyone. No, because. Um, some people, you know, they take advantage of that, and, you know, they're never going to get up. And then you're in this situation where you're connected to them so much that you don't want to let go. Okay, we don't want to get to that point. <laughs> okay, so that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about uh, helping forever. I'm talking about helping as in, um, you know, you ran into a bad thing. So now... Gotta help you out. I'll help you out today. Or I'll help you out, you know, because I can see that you can't pay for your grocery right there. Okay, you know, but I'm not gonna do this every time. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go to the contest now. The numbers are 77, 37, 27, 23, 25, 42, 83. 56 okay what I'm gonna do is I am going to circle a number and whatever number I circle that's the number that is going to win doing it a little different now let's see Did you see that? If you didn't, I'm going to put it up here now. You see that? 77. And that would be... Diamond! Hello, 
Crystal Diamond, get in contact with me and we are going to chat about your winnings. Um, now I'm just going to read off some of the people that entered and thank you so much for entering. Thanks so much for supporting me. Hopefully you guys can still see me. Okay, I'm reading them off now. Um, Diamond, she said, I took my neighbor back and forth to work when her car broke down for a month until she got a new car. That is so nice. That's really nice. I wish I had someone to give me a new car. I mean, that's a, that's a good um, idea to give a person a car because you saw them broke down. Now, I was talking about that. Now, that is when you assist someone. That's a good idea. I mean, but you don't want to give new cars all the time now. <laughs> but, um... That was a good, if her car broke down, I mean, why not give her a new car so that she won't keep breaking down? Sounds good to me. Okay. Takesha McFadden. She said, me and my friend was going to the mail and we seen homeless women with her daughter. So instead of going shopping, we gave them money. Wow. Just imagine someone gives you money to go shopping because they see that you're homeless. That's such a nice gesture. That was nice. That was really nice. Thumbs up, Takesha. Okay, let's go to the next one. And, uh, and, uh, let's see, Abda Della Goodlow. Huh. Sorry if I'm chopping up your name. Okay. She said, I took in someone who was homeless. I think she was 19. She was discharged from the army and didn't have anywhere to go. So I let her stay with me until she found a place. Oh my God. Now that was a really nice thing to do. Because... We have a whole lot of people that need places to stay, but they don't say it. You just have to, um, sometimes they might not say it, but you might have to poke it out of them by talking a little bit. And as you talk to that person, you know, you'll find out that, hey, sometimes it's just, um, you you just see it. You know, you just see it and you just do it. And, and in this case, you know, she knew the girl, and she just went ahead and helped her out. And I thought that was really nice. That's really nice to find her a place um, to live, pretty much. Okay. You go. Good, good low. <laughs> um, hopefully I'm saying your last name right. <laughs> okay. Miss Coca-Cola 85. Now, she says a relative whose mom doesn't have that close mother-daughter bond like I have with my daughter, never had things like most teens, so I gave her lots of clothes that I had recently purchased but haven't worn so she could have a new wardrobe. Just imagine that. A new wardrobe because she's having a bad time, you know. And she plus she doesn't have that mother daughter thing, and we have a lot of that because you know the guys today they just don't know how to commit. Just don't know how to commit. I happen to find one to, to commit, but you know everybody doesn't find you know someone that commits, and it's bad because you know it leaves the daughter where well it leaves the the. Um, little girls where they guessing how to approach you know they don't they they don't get well in this case she don't have a mother but even a father if the father's missing it's a bad thing you know I mean how do they come up and we do thank God for people like Miss Cola Miss Coca-Cola to come along and say hey I'll, I'll help you out here you go here's some clothes Wow 
that is such a thing and she even told me she wished that I was her mom now that is an effect that she had on this girl so see what you can do you can have an effect on someone else just by giving them clothes just 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 being there for that next person that's okay it's, I mean it just makes that next person a better person it doesn't take from you it just enhances the other person so that they can get a, get a, get to the next um, th thing that they need to do whatever it is okay let me hurry along here Ooh, I'm over the minutes okay I'm gonna read a few more um, last week my mom got temporarily injured at work and so I helped take care of her until she could walk again Wow taking care of someone now that is something that is needed <laughs> taking care of the elderly taking care of someone else all of these are good I didn't get a chance to get to some of you I might say one more here I bought some food for a homeless guy wow again another uh, good idea to do to, for someone else Okay, I hope you enjoyed the contest and I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, when you see someone in need, don't skip over. Listen, if you hear it, and be careful because there are some tricksters. But if it's right there in your face and you hear it, such as, um, I don't know what I'm going to do, and they're right next to you, maybe a coworker. Maybe you overheard it from the boss or whatever. Help them out. Help them out. It won't hurt. It's just one time. And it's, it's, I know it's hard to share. I know it's hard to share. Because you're thinking about personal things sometimes. Sometimes it's a personal thing. Sometimes it's, I just don't like her. Well, that is the person that God might want you to help. You might have to help out your enemy every once in a while. So forget what happened yesterday. This is a whole new day. And you don't know, you might not even live tomorrow, but you beat in, you, you, you have done something for someone else and they got where they needed before you went. It could work out like that, you never know. You helped someone else and then guess what? you could go the next day so think about it people never especially if you're a christian god expects you to look around and now that you're blessed he's not saying to keep it all to you he's not saying to be selfish because selfishness is not of god so um think about today what you're doing think about what you're doing Okay, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and uh, have a good day. Bless all of you. You guys are all going to get blessings. Even if you're not Christian, you're going to get, you are going to get something back because you gave something. That's the way God operates. He loves you. He loves when you do something for someone else, especially for someone else. Not that you get extra things. It's just helping someone else is the most I don't even know how to describe it but when you do it it makes the world better it makes you a good person you're not a total good person you're not perfect but you did something for someone else it's like raising children when you raise them up, guess what? They can do something for you when they come back because they're older now. Anyway, ta-ta. I can go on and on without this conversation, but have a good day. Bye-bye.